Welcome back to the Biff Mini Bytes video series where we like to take five minutes to discuss each of the most important CFP exam topics. I'm Mike Long from the Boston Institute of Finance and in this video we are going to take a look at an important topic for the CFP exam but also a very important topic for private practice because most advisors these days are involved at some level in retirement planning with their clients. There is a sister video to this one um, called Qualified Distributions from Roth IRAs, and those are great because what? They are tax-free. Well, we're gonna look at situation today where the distributions are non-qualified from the Roth, which just means they haven't met their requirements. They didn't meet the five-year holding period perhaps, and or they did not meet one of the four qualifying circumstances to make it a qualifying distribution. So what happens then if the client goes in and still takes money out of that Roth as a non-qualified distribution? So we need to understand the layers, the ordering, the distribution ordering, and there's three specific layers as we get into a Roth IRA for distribution. The first layer, which we've colored green, green for go, just like a traffic light, green for go. That's just the regular Roth contribution. So the first layer that gets distributed in a distribution are the regular Roth contributions, those year to year contributions of five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000. That's the first layer that gets distributed. And it's got sweet tax treatment or not, not at all, really. No income tax no possible pen penalty. Why? Because it's just a return of the contributions. If we need more than that from the distribution, we go to the next layer. And that next layer is yellow, just like the traffic light, proceed, but with caution. And this has to do with distributing Roth conversion contributions. Somebody took their old traditional IRA and converted it into a Roth IRA. So what happens if that layer is distributed? Well, there's no regular income tax because the client would have paid regular income tax on the conversion. So no regular income tax, but if this layer is distributed within five years of the, con of the conversion contribution, there could be a 10% penalty unless some penalty uh, exception applied. So proceed with caution. The third level that we get into are the account earnings. And here red for maybe stop and think about this. Because if we get into this layer of a non-qualified distribution, there will be regular income tax at the marginal bracket level plus 10% penalty unless an exception applies. Let's put some math on this. All right, so we've got a client that has made $24,000 of regular Roth uh, contributions. Also has done one conversion of $50,000. And over the years, the plan has done well. It has $26,000 in earnings. So we have a total account balance of $100,000. And we can take a look at two different withdrawals. One is the client just needs $40,000 for whatever purpose. So it gets layered like this. The first 24,000 is a return of those regular contributions, so no tax, no penalty. The second 16,000, or the, the next 16,000 of that $40,000 withdrawal, no income tax, but maybe a penalty of 1,600, depending on where they're at with the five-year window on that conversion. Still pretty nice to be able to get to 40,000 with possibly only 1,600 uh, in, in penalty. Another scenario, we just wanna liquidate the whole thing, $100,000. Same layering, the first 24,000 is a return of regular contributions. The next 50,000, now we're taking the entire conversion amount out. No regular tax, maybe 10%, which would amount to 5,000 if it's within that window. And then we're dipping into all of the earnings. So here in a non-qualified distribution, we would have uh, regular income tax at the client's marginal bracket level, plus a 10% penalty on that 26,000. So it would cost them another $2,600 to distribute the whole thing. 
you know, a simple topic. We all like to think we know something about IRAs, but if you really look at these, there's a lot going on inside these type of accounts, and we want to stay up on this to best help uh, our clients plan their distributions for retirement. Well, thanks for listening. The, the full mini bite video series and a lot of other great study resources, including our very popular Biff Bites podcast, can be found at biffbites.com. We hope you'll check them out. We hope you, and you will use them and enjoy them. And say it with me, study on, my friends.